Hi everyone! Good afternoon! Welcome to this workshop co-facilitated by GeoLadies PH and Ministry of Mapping about co-creating a code of conduct for OpenStreetMap Philippines community. Thank you, Pistana Mapa organizers and sponsors, for making us part of this event, and we hope our interactive and fun activity for everyone will encourage more mappers to participate in our OSM community. By the way, my name is Leigh Lunas. Co-facilitating with me for this workshop would be Hannah Dormido, Cham Mamador, Arnali Vicario, Faye Andal, and David Garcia. So, ano ba, ano ba to? <laughs> what do we expect from this workshop? So, we aim to gather and engage local community members of OSM and or other open geospatial communities in the Philippines in providing a safe space for learning and collaborating. We would like to emphasize the importance of cartography. And in our interactive workshop later, we want to gather from everyone what kind of OSM local community do we want to have in the future. So this is just one of two workshops we are planning on conducting this year so we can formulate a new COC for our community. Ah, okay, so if you have comments, questions, or concerns, you can send a message to the chat or our official Pista ng Mapa Telegram group. So, here's the link. Okay, so what is Code of Conduct? Binasa nyo ba yung COC ng Pista ng Mapa? Let me know on the chat or comment section. Hopefully, yes. Pero anyway, ito yung importanteng matandaan sa COC. So, the organizers are dedicated to provide a harassment-free experience for everyone. Regardless of gender, gender identity and expression, sexual orientation, disability, physical appearance, body size, race, age, or religion. We do not tolerate harassment of participants in any form. Sexu sexual language and imagery is not appropriate for any public space within the venue, including lectures, talks, or presentation. Okay. Uh, this code of conduct ensures an effective exchange of ideas and information during the activity in an atmosphere free of abuse or harassment and characterized by courtesy and respect. To that end, the organizers expect all individuals who attend to conduct themselves in a manner that establishes an atmosphere free from discriminatory practices. I hope everyone understands and abides the rules of the COC Thankfully, we have volunteers for today to keep a, to keep a look out dun sa mga pasaway at makukulit na participants. Ayan. So, why does safe space matter? Do you feel safe in sharing or asking questions in the OSM community? Um, ano ba yung buzzword na safe space? So, historically, the, the term safe space was coined in gay and lesbian bars in the U.S., in mid-60s when anti-sodomy laws were still in effect. However, this does not mean just the physical bars in the U.S. because they can still be raided by the police. It was basically somewhere where they can express themselves freely in good company. So fast forward to now, safe space in current context is described as places or groups that seek to provide respect and emotional security often for individuals from historically marginalized groups. So it can be a physical place or a group of people, informal or formal, and the marginalized groups include Soji community, but not limited to, to this group, but it also includes the PWDs, person with mental health issues, person of color, or race. So we need safe space mainly for mental health. So the members of the marginalized group often experience chronic anxiety that can stem from constantly having to anticipate the need to respond to judgment, unsolicited opinions, violence, mockery, and even having to explain themselves. Uh, the chronic anxiety in this is uh, constantly worried of being judged or not being heard in a community. 
and it can affect the outcome and the performance of an individual. So, so yeah, uh, we want to create a safe space for everyone, for diverse mappers here in the Philippines, regardless of the background. That's it for me. Thanks. Hello, I am Hannah Dermido, and I want to talk to you about Keratography. It is a code of kindness that a mapping collective known as the Ministry of Mapping tries to live by. It's basically putting care into cartography. And the goal for this is to foster a healthier and a caring community for mappers. We believe that a mapper is more important than the map and the task. We always come first. Our well-being comes first. So take breaks when you need to, come back when you have the headspace to respond to mapping tasks. We won't be able to help others if we do not take care of ourselves and if we do not take care of each other. And we also believe that the community we serve are more important than the map maker, the map, or the task at hand. So we need to remember that when we map, we respect people's privacy, we respect people's lands, and we respect the people's relationships with their land. Um, we hope that um, the idea of keratography is something that you would love to also foster in your own communities. And let's remind each other that our community will be healthier and better if we take care of each other. Thank you.